My name is Angela Sarkinen. I live here in Sioux Falls. I have four daughters. Their ages are 11, 9, 7, and 1. I work at A Plus Rentals here in Sioux Falls as a leasing agent. I am also an online fitness coach for Beachbody and I do a little bit of sales and marketing for a website. <coughs> I was initially incarcerated January 2013 for possession of a controlled substance. Mm -hmm. I was released onto <laughs> parole here in Sioux Falls October of 2013. Uh, Melanie Brown came in to my life uh, December of 2014 uh, when I switched coaches and I was in the halfway house at the glory house um, I did need to find more employment and I decided this is when I had Berlin so I was pregnant with Berlin I got diapers I got toys for her I had a lot of help and I decided I wanted to go back to school and I didn't know where to start. Uh, Melanie had helped me find information on grants and scholarships to help me get through school. Uh, so my initial process um, of finding daycare and everything like that, I was, you know, I was kind of blind to the situation, um, not knowing anybody here. And Look Up and Hope has all the best resources for daycare, for schools, for programs for your children to do in the summer, sports. When I finished my first semester in college, um, I had a 14-0 and I got a, a, a card from Melanie and a gift card inside. A congratulations, just a little, you know, something to keep me motivated and let me know that somebody out there actually cares um, to see me being successful. I was going to court for my daughter, my oldest daughter. She's 11. She, uh, I lost temporary custody while incarcerated. And um, the judge did allow me to have more time with her in my home as long as I had a supervised um, you know, somebody there that could supervise it, and it was Look Up and Hope, it was Melanie, uh, came into my house uh, for three, four hours at a time to be here so I could see my daughter and have meaningful time with her. I'm sorry, I get a little emotional. Um, she just brought our family together and gave me that chance to kind of rebuild and take a shot at getting my custody back, and it was amazing for her sisters and for all of us to be together. Um, it's going great now. I get her every other weekend and once a week, and we go back to court here in June to get my full custody back. So I'm pr pretty happy. Uh, look up and hope gave me my chance to have my daughter, and that's the most important thing, keeping me sober and strong and uh, healthy. Of course, God, I gotta, you know, God, God's here for me. I don't know. I mean, that's such a tough question. I mean, I would like to think that, you know, I could definitely make it and get somewhere, but without all the resources and without, you know, you know, Melanie coming into my home and being here so I could have these meaningful visits with my daughter, I think my home study wouldn't have went at all in my favor. Um, I think that I wouldn't have that time with my daughter. I would still be at the visitation center right now. I would still be very, probably very depressed and, um, and not going to school and not having a successful job. And you know, that definitely could, could have led, led to relapse and uh, back to prison. So I, I don't even want to think what it would be like without Look Up and Hope, that's for sure. Well, I just want to say thank you and I, I definitely think Look Up and Hope can help so many more people, so many women.